Hi, Vaishnavi. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you? I'm good too. Thank you. So, can you tell us something about yourself? Yes, sir. Thank you for giving me the, giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. I am Vaishnavi Kulkarni. I have completed my graduation from Guru Gobind Singh College of Engineering and Research Center in Nasik in the last year 2022. Uh, during my graduation, as I am from civil background, uh, I am uh, proactive in learning various softwares related to my field. Uh, so after, uh, during using this software, I got to know uh, or I have a keen interest about how the softwares have been developed. How uh, during the softwares, uh, I was uh, able to find out various types of bugs and uh, I was able to suggest various types of features that could be added into the software. So I think these types of uh, uh, my skills are, um, uh, I realized that these skills are uh, matching to the software testing. So I completed my six uh, months uh, certified software testing course. Uh, in that, I studied manual and automation testing. In the manual testing, I got to know the core concepts about the software testing. Whereas uh, in the automation testing, I learned the Selenium, uh, which is a functional testing tool, and TestNG. Um, uh, so I am a proactive person. Uh, mm -hmm. I used to uh, do various types of planning and organizational skills I have uh, in myself. And uh, that's why uh, I think it is a matching. Uh, my profile is a matching to the mm -hmm. software testing. Okay. So okay. Now, see. Uh, the question was, tell me something about yourself. Right? So, what you have to do is, you have to give a brief introduction about yourself, about your graduation and any projects related to software testing you have done. If they ask you, why you are looking for a job or why you are looking for making your career in the soft field of software testing, then you have to tell those pointers. Like, you know, you were mentioning you are having those passionate about softwares. You have done this course in manual and automation testing, right? So rather than telling you have completed course in manual, and you can tell you have completed training in software testing, simple. Because if you tell manual automation, then they might feel, okay, we don't have automation role. Will she be able to continue just for manual role? What if they they uh, have only automation role? And then they might start asking you questions on Selenium, Java, and all those things. Which is not the purpose of the interview, right? So keep it crisp, keep it short, keep it straightforward, right? And be confident and have a smile on your face, right? There is nothing wrong in smiling, right? Sometimes, you know, what happens is when we get nervous, even the interviewer feels nervous. She's so much nervous during the interviews. What will she do when she will get hired? She'll make other people also nervous in the team. <laughs> so, so that's what happens, right? So don't get nervous in, the, in an interview. See, you have, whenever you are being, uh, you know, uh, given a chance for managerial round, given a chance for leadership round, that means you're already there for 75 to 80 percent. You are qualified. You have been selected. So that's how the approach would be there in the managerial interview, right? They would be more interested in your functional role, functional side, rather than seeing your technical side, right? Okay. Now, let's say you uh, are working with a team member, right? Who is not able to give the productive output at the end of the day, right? So how will you ensure as a team you are giving productive output? Uh, so firstly, uh, I will have an approach to um, reach the person and communicate with her or him. Uh, firstly, I will uh, make sure that uh, what the skills uh, he or she uh, has, okay, um, what the skill, uh, is important according to my uh, work and uh, I will uh, let him to speak about what is the weaknesses uh, or what is kind of uh, uh, my let me frame it firstly I will communicate with that person I will uh, know the strengths and weaknesses of that person 
firstly i uh, appreciate his strength but work on his uh, limitations also uh, if he has some issues in the technical side or uh, something that uh, he used to do but he, he is not able to do that so firstly i will uh, ensure that he got trained into that uh, into that um, software related or any conceptual uh, things after that if uh, he has some issues uh, such as presentational skills or etc then uh, i will uh, give him some assistance some support some guidance so that uh, he could come out of fear and uh, he could give uh, his best and so that we could give a good um, type of a good work right so you you will be supporting uh, him or her you will be supporting your team member if he or she is not good in writing test cases then you can share your test cases with him or her and then you can explain okay this is how you can write the test cases this is how you will have to analyze the situation you can also try finding one or two bugs but at the same time you have to ensure that your work is not getting impacted so mention this line also your work is not getting impacted right yes okay how will you resolve conflicts at the workplace let's say if there is one developer right and he is not accepting the defect now he is doing he and you are in a conflicting situation right so how will you resolve conflicts at the workplace um so at the workplace firstly i will communicate with all the team members i will give him uh, uh, all the team members uh, the clear uh, expectations that are required and uh, if there is any conflict between uh, my teammates then i will try to resolve it uh, with the communication only firstly i will try to know whether the uh, issue is uh, raised and uh, what is the root of that cause so firstly i will communicate with that person i will resolve the uh, resolve the conflict i will re reschedule or uh, is there any kind of a time delay uh, due to that conflict then i will reschedule the task i will uh, do uh, rechecking of the works also that uh, uh, i will make sure that the conflict is not affecting to our work and uh, time schedule so the first thing that i will do is the communication that i will uh, resolve the conflict and uh, then we will start working and we should be, and we will ensure that the project is get completed in the stipulated time very nice so see resolving conflicts is one of the key thing right let it be a developer let it be a, with a tester or let it be any member of your team so it's very important to resolve this conflicts why you want to resolve this conflicts because as at the end we all are working as a team right so such kind of keywords you have to add in the answer working as a team working as uh, you know what we have we all have one team one goal kind of a thing right our goal is to make sure that we give a quality product to the customer or to the client whomsoever it is right so in order to you know resolve the conflict you will have a word with him you will uh, speak to them and uh, maybe you can schedule some meeting and you can uh, arrange some meeting in the conference room and you both can discuss what went wrong and what could have been done better right those kind of things and then that's how by communication the conflicts will be resolved so that you people are able to collaborate you people are able to coordinate in a better manner in the future right so that's how you will exactly. yeah sorry yes sir, exactly exactly okay yeah yeah perfect okay okay how much interested are you in learning new technologies uh sir as i have uh, said previously i am from the another background i am there i have a keen interest in uh, software testing i studied that um, all the new skills so um, i have a keen interest in various types of uh, software and other things also means science related or uh, any other so whenever i have a i have an interest in anything i uh, i try to learn the thing firstly i try
try to get more knowledge about it and uh, until i can't get that uh, some satisfactory re results from that uh, i could not be uh, comfortable so i have been interested in okay okay so you mean to say uh, if new technologies are related to software testing then you will take interest okay. in those technologies and you will make sure that you are up to the point in learning those technologies and implementing them in your day to day work right yes yeah so that's how you can speak okay now let's say if you are a qa member and one new member has joined your team right so now there are two qa members including you in your team right and you have a deadline to meet in the next two or three days now how will you involve that new member in the team so that you can utilize him or her to meet the deadlines okay hmm. so should i repeat thing? yeah please go ahead yes means a uh, one more qa member is there in our team hmm. and uh, have to uh, complete our work within the deadline hmm. so how can i Okay. Yes, yes, and you have a deadline of two to three days. You have to deliver some product in two or three days. Okay. So, firstly, I will have a word with that QA member. I hmm. will share uh, some some of my skills and uh, get to know uh, what skills he has uh, hmm. within himself. And uh, after that, uh, discussing among the team, uh, I will schedule the uh, task. Hmm. I will uh, distribute the work to all the team members along with my uh, new QA uh, teammate, and uh, I will make sure that uh, the QA member could give the more and more uh, insight or uh, could contribute more, so that uh, as he has more skills, so he could contribute more to me. So I will make sure that I can use his skill very well. and uh, i will complete my work as the deadline is uh, of very less so i will distribute the work yes so that okay. is the yeah. first line that you should speak now you are talking right i'll distribute yeah. the work your answer should start from here rather than saying he is having good skill i'll speak to him i'll use his skill i'll do my work no never use i in this kind of sentences in answers right you are a team you should always speak as we right so you will distribute your work so what you will do is as he is a new member so you might sit with him or her it's a team member for one or two hours give him some product knowledge right you already have regression test cases written with you assign those test cases to him let him do the test case execution work of some p1 or p2 functionality you take p0 functionality right you focus on critical functionality let him work on some major not major minor areas first right so that's how you can allocate tasks tasks to him he should not be sitting idle at the same time you you cannot ask him to write the test case because test cases would have already been written that's why the deadline is closed now is closed in the sense it's in two or three days Right, so that's how you have to tackle this kind of questions. Clear? Okay. Yes. Okay. As a QA, where do you see yourself after three years? Yeah. Don't tell after that you years, see yourself as a QA manager who is just asking the you know <laughs> taking your interview. <laughs> no. Uh, firstly, uh, in the next coming year, I will try to uh, heal up myself. i will try to gain various types of uh, uh, for example performance testing there are various types of tools uh, which are there in the software testing only uh, which are which are i am not that uh, uh, skilled so i will skill up myself i will uh, explore uh, the software testing field more uh, i will make sure that i will be the expert uh, automation tester in the next coming years and uh, with all the skills uh the software tester should have along with that i will try to gain some knowledge from developer side also and i will explore more uh, beyond the software testing also 
ओके ओके नाउ सपोज वी हैव अ प्रोजेक्ट एंड वी इन्वॉल्व यू इन सम प्रोजेक्ट इन विच यू हैव टू डू मैनुअल टेस्टिंग फॉर एट टू टेन मंथ्स देयर विल नॉट बी एनी ऑटोमेशन टेस्टिंग इन्वॉल्व वुड यू बी इज इट ओके विथ यू so firstly the root of the automation testing is a manual testing so no tester could uh, um, be a 100% uh, software tester until he is a uh, good in the manual testing so manual testing is the core subject so it will be fortunate for me so uh, to uh, learn uh, also to work in this manual testing so manual testing is a core subject uh i will happily do that work no issue okay that that's great so you know the basics right see if, if you do the manual testing of any product any project then definitely you would excel while doing test automation of that particular project right so that's the key thing so good answer given right okay what do you know about the company right now let's say if they have asked this kind of question then make sure that in whichever company your interviews is been scheduled you get a good detailed idea about what that company is about what are they working on right which kind of products is it a service based company is it a product based company right those kind of things you have to ask let's say if they ask you do you have any questions for me or do you have any questions for us then what questions will you ask in a managerial round in a leadership round there are chances they might tell you do you have any questions for us then what questions you will ask i don't I you don't have know. any question so some question should I be have... there in your back of mind yeah yeah so don't ask questions like why the stock market price of this company is falling don't ask the question you know which are very obvious which for whom the information is easily available on google don't ask the questions that why your company did laid off lay off uh, you know 1 160 people last month so don't ask those kind of questions right so what could be the question sir right right so now i'll i'll tell you what could be the question so can we ask about the salary so should we ask never never you should not ask about uh, your salary and your benefits because that will be discussed in the hr round okay. right so you should avoid questions that start with why any gossips that you have heard about the company you should avoid them right so you can ask questions about the tools and technologies that are being used right the tool that are that they are using for example if they are using jira as a test case management tool that information won't be there on their website neither on the google because it's something within the part of the company you can also ask what framework they have in the test automation right so those things you can ask right never ever ask like uh, you know Uh, will i be getting 5 lakhs per annum will i be getting 4 lakhs per annum that is a separate discussion which needs to be done with the hr only right obviously your mm -hmm. leaders or your managers will get some idea about what your salary would be but still right it is something that uh, you know if you go to a chinese restaurant who is mm -hmm. a typical chinese restaurant you cannot expect them to give you um you know pizzas and vice versa right so it's very important to ask key questions to the relevant then when you interact with an hr don't ask them what is the automation framework you are using they might not have idea you can discuss about salary perks um leave policies right so those kind of questions you can discuss but when you are in a leadership role so you can uh, ask them some questions related to you know um automation framework or internal process right so those things you can ask 
So, okay, which are the achievements and failures in your career? Can you please tell us something about that? Uh, yes, sir. So, firstly, uh, during my graduation, uh, I'm fortunate uh, that I could be able to be a core member of the road track club which is uh, there in my college. Uh, I was able to organize and plan various types of uh, events in that and successfully completed that event. Uh, along with that, I have uh, been uh, in the various I say, uh, speech, speech competition. And uh, I was uh, there in the various types of uh, competitions such as uh, public speaking, etc. Uh, I am not able to. So uh, these are the achievements. Yes. Mm, and what about failures? Sometimes I think the failures are about uh, events only. Some mm -hmm. get success in the different way. So we can, uh, it, mm. ha it has a memory, but uh, some events are not that uh, successful. So mm. they are kind of, they are not failure, but uh, there is some uh, issues about the events and all. Mm -hmm. So I so, think. Yeah, so events, events and these things are, you know, restricted to colleges. So you can tell something about what you have done in the career. Maybe as an achievement, you can tell that you had installed this particular application. You had found a couple of issues in this application. You had reported them and you came to know that other members are also facing the same issue. So you had found uh, valid issues, right? So those kind of things, any any application, any website. There are so many websites which we go throughout in a day. Amazon, Flipkart, Make My Trip, right? So any bugs that you have found on those websites. As a part of failure, so you can tell that maybe you are a bit late in uh, uh, you know uh, in identifying about what you are looking for in your career right maybe because initial at the initial time you might be working in some other domain in some other departments but now you feel it so it's a bit late but it's not too late so you can that's how you can manage to give answers you have to you know tell about your failures in such a manner that you should not get rejected because of that failure in an interview. So that should be a very smart answer. Hmm. Yeah, you should not tell that um, my failure is uh, I'm always reaching late in view of the places where I should be reaching ahead. Then they will feel that he, is, he or she is a late comer, might not complete eight hours in a company. Some sort of thinking. Hmm. So that's how you have to give answer. Okay, Vaishnavi. So I am done with the interview. Do you have any questions for me? Sir, what is your analysis about me? So analysis is good. Yeah, uh, you are able to give answer, but don't get nervous, right? I feel throughout the interview you are getting nervous. Smile at times, pause at times, think for some time. You can ask the interviewer, please give me some time to think. You can drink water. So be cool, be calm. So automatically the answers are going to come to you. They are within you. You just have to discover them. Right? Let them come out. Be free. Right? Be cool. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Vaishnavi. And wish you all the best for your career. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you.